After looking at my paper, he says, I can't help you. Give me back my papers. He said, I just turned on three other guys. And I saw when they were leaving. They came to me and said, man, the man said, no. But God has something to say. Yes. And he said through me that day. Yes. Something that touched his man's heart. Yes. God speak to him through me. Yes. I was bold enough that day. Yes, to be used by God. I said to him, sir. I'm asking you for a chance. So I can help my country. <laughs> sir. You have my future in your hands. Please help me, sir. So I can be a asset to my country. I guess it reached him. I guess it touched his heart. Huh? And the way I plead with, my, with a sincere heart, he asked me another question and answered it. He says, have a nice flight. And he signed my paper and say, I said, thank you, sir. Right, sir. Right, sir. Right, sir. Uh, what is this? I didn't even have to take the doctor test. Everybody else go and take doctor test. I didn't have to take none. Have a nice flight. That's how God does things. So a few weeks ago, I recall what I said to this immigration officer. And now God make it possible for me to live up to what I said. Many Jamaicans here today, right? Amen. Well, I'm able to help you. I got good news for you. I have become an ambassador for Christ. I'm an ambassador for heaven. Yes, sir. Yes. And I'm here to offer you a visa. Yes. So God start, tell me, start a church. Because there are many Jamaicans that used to serve him in Jamaica. Come to America on the light. Bright light. Big city. Get a hold of them and so they turn away. And so redemption will become Embassy of Heaven. Yeah. If you want a visa for heaven, I got one for you. You are the right place at the right time. I want you to apply. I gotta keep the doors open for you. I gotta keep the lights on for you. And let me tell you, I do not have a alien card to give you. The card I'm gonna give you is a citizenship card. We don't have here than in heaven, all right? Yeah. And so the door of redemption way is now open to you for heaven's glory. We are one of the channel to heaven. And you are welcome to worship with us anytime. And over here at this little church in the wildwood. Yes. You're welcome. Yes, sir. And believe me, if you just want to be baptized, we do that for you too. Yes. And you can go to any church you want to go. Yes. As long as you accept Christ. Yes. Anyway, I'm here today to tell you of the man who runs my life. The one who I report to. Yes, sir. I want you to know of a man called Jesus Christ. Who lives in heaven? He came to the hurt to seek, save, and satisfy. The sinner man needs for salvation. And so the Bible says in Romans chapter 5, Romans chapter 5, from 1 to 10. Therefore, being justified by faith, you have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand 
and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation. Also knowing that tribulation work with patience. And patience, experience. And experience, hope. And hope make it not a shame. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. But when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For creation for a righteous man, will one die. The pre adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God, but God, but God commanded his love towards us, yes, and that while we were yet sinners, yes, sinner. Christ died for yes, us. Much more than me now, justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath to him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise Every one of us at our early age, especially Jamaicans, I always think I'm going to heaven. Amen. I don't care where you're from in Jamaica. You always think about going to heaven. Yes. When I realized the way I was going, I'm going to end up in hell. I changed my route. That's right. Too much for anybody. And I begin to seek God's way. I become a seeker of the truth. Amen. And the Lord who is the truth visit me by the way of his word. Amen. I realize I need a savior. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> because the way I was going, yes. it wasn't the right way. Right I realize I need a savior. And the word of God says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God to our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I seek the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from my fears. My fear is that I was going to end up somewhere else. Because the way I was going, I was heading for the wrong place. So I seek the Lord and I say, Lord, I want to serve you. I need you. I need you, Lord. Right. Every hour I need you. Every minute I need you. Every second I need you. Come, Lord Jesus. I want to go to heaven. When I die, Lord, I need you. So I seek the Lord by, the, by his word. And then I put action to it. I had exactly the desire. But this I don't help you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Everybody has desire. I yes. don't help you. You got to work towards the desire. Yes. Oh Jesus. Right. I guess you don't believe me. Right. Then I look at verse 8. But God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. When I used to go to parties, I was the life of the party. Uh -huh. I was the first one to get on the floor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and I have company who was heading to hell with me. Godfather. And we were going to the same place, heading to hell. And one day, one, day. Ah, one, one beautiful day, day. <laughs> the Lord come into my life yes, and he make a difference. Yes, I wish I could tell you about that. Yes, Let me stay for a while. Let me tell you something. I remember that Sunday morning. You see, party wasn't the same anymore because those guys started rapping. I couldn't stand the rapping thing. So what I did, I gather about four or five of our friends. And so every Saturday night we meet at each other's basement. Right, Mr. Lewis? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we play dominoes. 
Jim, JB. Everybody carry on their pack of beer. <laughs> I will drink till the morning. But the best part of it is that we used to put on Prince Buster's music and dance to it and say, who is the best leg man? Wow. Who can dance the best? Well, well, well. Listen to one of Prince Buster's music and do him realize actually we were living in madness. Uh, no. And we call it gladness. Uh, <laughs> upside down. We think it was gladness, but it was madness. Present was so bad. So, verse it become a reality to me. And so I get a better understanding of salvation. Yes, uh, of, of John 3 16. Yes, yes, and when I look into verse, it does John 3 16 in there. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, yes. Huh? Well, my studying, by my studying, I was motivated by the Holy Spirit to understand verse 6. Yes, for when we were yet without strength, That's right. in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Yes, Man, I was even thinking about God. Amen. God was the last thing on my mind. That's right. I just love to drink my liquor, yes, come home Sunday morning. Yes. And look for my breakfast from my wife. Yes. <laughs> but one Sunday morning. One Sunday morning. One good Sunday morning. Yes, I came up as drunk as a skunk. <laughs> walking about two feet high. <laughs> my step where you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I went into the washroom. I used to go in the washroom and look at myself and say, oh boy, you know you're beautiful. <laughs> That's what joking people do, right? <laughs> but this Sunday morning, I saw somebody else. I said, I hear something that says, Jesus says, it's time for you to serve me. And I changed my life. I was like a joining man, yes. catching for straws. <laughs> so it says, when we were yet without strength, yes. meaning we were helpless, mm -hmm. and Jesus came yes. in the nick of time yes. and died for me, a sinner. Yes. I said, when we were sinners, Jesus came in the nick of time and saved us. How yes. was so blind? that I couldn't see the truth. True. I didn't even think about the truth. All I want to do is get down. Uh -huh. Get down on the floor. But one this Sunday morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sunday morning. It's on family, right? Yeah, yeah come Sunday on, drunk. You see, after that night, I've just playing some, 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 some dominoes. Drinking and playing some whole music. I came home to a rude awakening. The reality of getting old sets in. I know old people must die, right? Yes, yes. So I began to worry about that. And I heard it's time for you to serve me. Yes. And so I take heed. Good it wasn't popular with my friends. Because when you become a Christian, all your friends are going to leave you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you become a Christian and still have your old friends, something wrong with you. <laughs> because that's why you're speaking two different languages now. One speaking Russian and the other one speaking Jamaica. <laughs> one speaking Patois. And one speaking English. 
Lord Jesus, help us. Things began to change. And things began to get worse. Things that I used to love. I got to drop them off. Yes, yes. Lika get bitter. Turn bitter. Yes. In 1982, I got saved. I don't know what beer tastes. Uh -huh. Turn bitter. This man who is drinking box of beer sometimes. Turn bitter. Yes, sir. Stop drinking beer just like that. Hey. No more beer. No more white rum. Not to turn bitter in your mouth. I, I, I love ginger wine. I'll take a little bit every now and then. What a mighty God. <laughs> What do you do? You think about it, I become Timothy. Yeah, for, for, sometimes from me that become Timothy. Paul told Timothy, boy, take a little wine for the stomach sake sometimes. But well, some people say that I drink too much. And the stomach gets worse, you know what I mean? I look at myself and say, I can't live like this no more. When I look at my children and see I'm coming home drunk, mm. I say, is this the life I want for my not children? Good. Not good. Not good. No, 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 I got to stop this. That's right. And I stop drinking. Stop smoking weed. Oh, did I say weed? 